Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel, Obella. Oh, my name is Lisa Elizabeth, and today we're going to talk about moving to Atlanta, Georgia. It's not bad. I'm just how you do it. Okay, whatever. But yes, we're going to talk about why I moved to Atlanta, the process of moving, the do's and the don'ts of moving to Atlanta. Georgia okay <laughs> it's a lot <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all know now but um on another note I'm also gonna do a small tour of my apartment at the end of this video I'll just show you how it looks and you know I've been here a year now so yeah my I guess progress um but yeah but before we begin let's start by a click of a button I need everybody to go subscribe to your girl's channel real quick just click the button. All it takes is one second. Just click, 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 click. <laughs> okay, I'm done for real. But, um, so let's begin. All right, so topic number one, why I moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I would say the number one reason I moved to Atlanta is because I was sick of Tennessee, honestly. Um, originally, I was born in New Orleans, but I... I would say I'm from Memphis. I was raised in Memphis from age five and up. Um, if you, if people like, when I'm walking around Atlanta or something, and someone asks me where I'm from, I always say Memphis. So like, this is where I'm from, South Memphis. <laughs> but anyway, I play too much. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, like. I was just over it. I went, like, I was raised there. I went to college there. Like, I just wanted to experience something new, like a new culture, a new lifestyle, a new atmosphere, like, just something different. So, my two options were Dallas or New Orleans. I'm sorry, Dallas or Atlanta. And honestly, I didn't really know that many people in Dallas, but I knew a couple people in Atlanta. So, um, I talked to those people that lived here and asked them about living here and they were just telling me a lot of good things like there's so much opportunity so many people to network with um it's a great atmosphere there's always something to do you're never going to be bored so I was you know I was ready to move or whatever so I graduated May 2018 and um I moved here July 2018 and let me tell you about that process so i knew that i was going to move to um, atlanta in like february okay and this going into part two like topic two why um the process of moving to atlanta so um i knew i was going to move here in february so twice a month up until june i came to atlanta to look for an apartment. Literally, I didn't find my apartment until like two weeks before it was time for me to move out of my apartment in Tennessee. So, <laughs> let me say it was a struggle. Like, I was literally driving down here two times a month, like looking at apartments that were completely out of my price range outside of the city. Like, I wasn't even looking at apartments in the city at that point. Like, I wanted a two bedroom for 1200 like that's what i was looking for or whatever but i could not find it like either they were so nice on the inside and raggedy on the outside or they was raggedy on the inside and like renewed and renovated on the outside like i could not get the best of both worlds and honestly in tennessee getting an apartment for 1200 you can get something really nice like something really 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 nice so i was just defeated at one point like praying to god can't you please help me find something you know if it's meant for me to move to atlanta just give me a sign lord because i've been looking i've been down here like every other month trying to find an apartment and i'm just not seeing anything that i have fell in love with or even liked like i didn't even see anything i liked that wasn't pricey like like there were some nice 
um, apartments in Atlanta, but they were in the city and they were like 1700 for a one bedroom. And your girl saved, but she ain't saved that much, okay? So, honestly, like, I was kind of over it in June. I came down here for a family reunion. That's what happened. So, June, I came down here for a family reunion, and um, one of my friends, he was like, um, let's go to my friend house or whatever, and we go drink, and we go turn up. So, all my, like, cousins my age and my sister, like, we all went to his friend's house, and we were, like, turning up. This is, like, after all the family activities or whatever, we decided to, like, kick it. So, um... We pull up to his friend's apartment in the city of Midtown. And I'm like, ooh, I like this. Like, this is really, really nice. Hmm. Like, this is cute. I bet this high as hell. That's exactly what I thought. Oh my God, I bet this is high as hell. But um, we got there, whatever, and I'm talking to his friend, like, oh, I like your apartment. And he, he had a two bedroom. And it was him and his friends. And also, let me put this in. Like, okay, so I really wanted a two bedroom so that. Like, when I have company coming over and stuff, like, I have them a guest room. Because I know a lot of people visit Atlanta, a lot of my friends do, and I didn't want them, like, sleeping on the floor, sleeping on the carpet or anything like that, or on the, like, air mattress or the couch. So, I really want the two-bedroom. But, surely, my feelings got hurt. <laughs> Moving up here, and I decided, you know, so I started looking for a one bedroom instead of a two because it was just a little bit out of my range. Um, for what I wanted, for like it to look renovated inside and out, I needed to just get a one bedroom and stop thinking about, you know, others. I needed to think about myself. But um, he had a two bedroom. And I was kind of like asking him questions, but I didn't really know him like this. So I didn't want to intrude too much, but I was like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna check this out in the morning. Like I'm gonna check it out. So, uh, we left or whatever, went to party, got back the next morning and me and the guy that took me to his apartment, we went to check it out. So, um, we're in the office or whatever, and we're talking, and I'm just like, I like these apartments so much, but I just know they're at my price range. Like I, I just knew that they were at my price range. So, um, we go tour, we come back, we sit at the desk and I'm just like, oh, I like these apartments so much. I like them so much. And so, um, we sit at the desk or whatever. And the lady's like, so what's your price range? And to me, before I moved here, 1200 was a good amount. Like I thought that was a good amount, but I would go in these fancy apartments and I'd say 12 and they'd be looking at me like, girl, you can't get nothing in here for that. So, um, I was like 12, you know, my little baby voice. Cause I put on my baby voice when I want something I'm like mm, 12 and the lady was like, Oh baby. Okay. So we got an apartment for $11.98. Awesome. So that just made me so happy or whatever. But I was like, before I get this apartment, there was one more that I want to look at. So I was like, okay, you know, um, thanks for the tour. And I was like, I'll be right back or whatever. She was like, you sure? Because this price doesn't last long. And you know, it's just a today's thing. We have a special going on. And this why this is why it is this price. And da, da, da. so I was hesitant to leave, but I was like, let me just check it out. So I left. Did not like that apartment at all. I, if I pull up and I don't like the look of an apartment, I'm not moving there. So I immediately left and I went back to that apartment and put my money down. Like, let's go. Into the do's and don'ts. So, a don't. When I came, like, okay, so I, I've had apartments before, but... There was just a lot of extra payments that I didn't expect moving here. So, I saved about $5,000 when I moved to Atlanta. I thought that would be enough to, like, lean back on if anything happened or... Because I moved here without a job, so I knew they would pay, like, a couple months rent and something to lean back on if anything else happened. That's a don't. Let me say that first. Don't move anywhere without having an official job. Like, I took a big leap of faith 
you know, and I put it all in God's hand and I promise you he made it work out. I don't know how, but he always made it work for me. Um, but I would say there was faith <laughs> in God's will and God's way because there's a lot of stuff that could have been wrong due to me not have well, could have went wrong due to me not having a job. But, you know, for some reason, it just worked out in my favor. Um, well, it's because of God, it worked out in my favor. But I would say don't move to Atlanta without a job. I repeat, do not move anywhere without a job secured, okay? Please don't do that. It's a lot of stress. And it's a lot of it's a lot of praying to go into it. And I just say, you know, if you don't want to be stressed out at your week's end, just make sure you have your job secured. But um Yeah. So I saved my money or whatever. I moved in. Well no, I um I when I went into the office I had to pay like a um the what is it called? the um, security deposit, I had to pay an application fee, and I had to pay like first month's rent or something like that. So that was like $2,000 taken out of my um, savings. So I only had 3,000 now, and I was supposed to move in the next month. So um, I had to pay, so they, the apartment, this is the Christ name too. So this is a don't, like figure this out before you even go apartment shopping. So, I had to pay July's rent for my old apartment and I had to pay going like first month's rent of my new apartment or whatever. And I did not think about that. Like, I don't know why I didn't think about that, but it slipped my mind completely. So that was extra money taken out of my savings to pay for the apartment or whatever, whatever as well. But, um, yeah, that was a lot. So, um, once I moved to Atlanta, um, I moved here, I would say roughly like $2,000. No, I, probably, I think I still had 3000 Yeah, I think I still had 3000 because I was still working in my, yeah, I was still working in Tennessee. But I moved all my stuff in, in Atlanta or whatever in June, but I still lived in Tennessee because I still had like two weeks to work or whatever so um yeah i moved here with about three thousand dollars and you know i just looked for a job and ended up getting a little serving job to pay my bills or whatever and that was that but the process of moving to atlanta um there was a lot that i didn't think about um when it came to movers like it ended up being me and my friends and my grandmother, honestly, like they helped me move into my apartment and move out of my old apartment because movers were like $4,000 to move from Tennessee to Atlanta. And I didn't have that kind of money to save. Like I told y'all, I ended, I started with 5,000 in my savings just for my apartment. So I wasn't gonna spend 4,000 on movers. Like that was ridiculous. And when I moved here, I only moved in with my bedroom furniture and my like desk desk like i didn't have any of the extra stuff that i have now um so that really confused me like why was it so expensive um but now you know i've been here for a year now and i can honestly say that i'm still getting adjusted or whatever but i am proud of my progress and I can really only thank God for that, really, because I moved here without a job, like I said, with only $3,000. I'm not going to say only because that's a good amount, but with $3,000 and really nothing in my apartment. And then a do, I'll make sure what you do do is, um, <laughs> that was corny. <laughs> ah, I just said to do, but make sure that you um i said a lot of don'ts but I, mean, I don't have any do's and i don't want to be negative but make sure that you do your research that's a good one lisa make sure that you do your research because when i moved to atlanta 
I didn't really, I did my research, but I only did my research on apartments. I didn't do my research on where I live, my surroundings. And I guess it's kind of my fault or whatever, because I don't really like, if they got a gate around, I feel like it's secure. But I didn't really look up my apartment and I'll talk about that in another video. But there are a couple things that I should have probably known before I moved into this apartment complex. But, um, yeah make sure you do your research that's the number one thing and you'll be good to go so now let's get into the good stuff my decor skills so i'm about to do a small tour of my video with my little louis <laughs> me and little louis are going to show y'all our apartment his place my place but before we start, I'm just going to get into a simple look of mine. I'm just going to lunch with some friends, but I just have some olive green high waist pants on. I have my shirt, a little blouse. I have it tucked in, light accessories. But yeah, let's get into this tour. We're going to start with my patio area. So I really don't have a lot of patio furniture, but I have like this that I like put food on if I'm out here reading or put my feet on that. And then I really enjoy my scenery. Like when I just want to read and be at peace, I just come out here and enjoy this scenery. And then we're going to go into my guest area. So this used to be in my room at my old apartment, but, um, it doesn't fit here because this part apartment is a little bit smaller than the last one that I had. And this chair doesn't go in here either, but it can't fit in my room. But that's my desk area. And then this is my living room area. And I have lots of pillows. And then my entertainment area. This is my mommy, JC, in the belly, and my little sis. And then I have my granny. But yeah, that's my entertainment area. And then my bar area. I'm still working on keeping my bar stocked. Um, every time I do, as you see, I don't have one bottle right now, but every time I fill it up, like, I feel like it gets empty so fast. My hookah. All right, so this is Louis' area. This dog bowl says nibble and drink up. And then this is this little grass mat for when I work a lot, I don't have time to go walk on. This is the living room view from the kitchen. And sneak peek at my fave book right now called The Success Blueprint. You should definitely get that. But here's my kitchen. And then I have an extra storage closet. And then here is my washer and my dryer. This is my bathroom. And then this is a view this way. All right, guys, now to the bedroom. As you all see, I love mirrors. This is like my third big mirror in my house. Um, and now let's go to the closet before I start showing the bedroom. I have a small closet. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff, but yeah, my closet's kind of small. And here's my bedroom area, a corner view, everything. And then you can see from the patio, scenery. And FYI guys, um, I'm a big DIY type of person. So I made mine um, Patron case into a flower vase and I'm so proud of it because it took me like some hours honestly but yeah my little angel I keep her close my granny gave that to me 
in my prayer book. So that concludes our video. Lou. <laughs> all righty, guys. So we just finished the apartment tour. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, however, there is a method to my madness. Um, I really wanted you all to learn from my mistakes. Um, one, do your research. It's simple. It's easy. Just do your research. And two, make a budget and add unanticipated costs in your budget because there's a lot of things that I wasn't expecting that I had to pay for. Um, I know earlier I told you all about my two apartments. Basically, I had to pay first month's rent and last month's rent. Um, however, I also didn't know anything about a holding cost. Um, for my new apartment, I had to pay a holding cost daily to hold that apartment until I moved in. So if I would have done my research, I would have known about that and saved enough money to not be stressed out about it, you know? So just take those lessons into account, into account when making that big move. And I swear you'll be smooth sailing. And again, guys, I thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Um, if you have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to comment below. I'll be happy to answer those questions for you. Anything from um, how it's been this year in Atlanta, my, me working out, um, cooking, anything else, please feel free to comment. I'll be glad to answer those questions for you. Um, as well as like if this video was informative, please like this video and share it with a friend. Um, and also, don't forget to follow me on all forms of social media. O-H underscore B-E-L-A. O-Bella is my name. Um, I'll leave it in the description box below so you have something to look at. Um, and yeah, thank you. Let's say bye, Louie. Bye. Welcome to Atlanta.